Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Derek. Uh, first, I want to welcome all the new subscribers we got. Most of you come from the Happily Ever Hanks video install I did. It was awesome hanging out with those guys, and hopefully we'll cross paths with them again here soon. So I'm a solar installer first and a content creator second. So my videos will never be as polished as something like Happily Ever Hanks, but I do really enjoy making YouTube content, and it's a great way for new potential customers to see some of our previous systems, let them know that I do know what I'm doing, and then it, people can follow us around the country. I enjoy putting some of our personal places like this boom docking spot here out there. Having our solar system allows us to stay in places like this as long as we want. I mean, we could stay here two weeks is what they allow you for i mean we could live our life here but they only allow you to stay two weeks so so having the solar and batteries and inverters we do gives us the freedom to have basically power to anything we want whenever we want all right here our kids can roam free the dog can roam free so it's just awesome so the solar part of this video is actually a repair i did by somebody that just happened to be in a site next to us that picked up their rv from getting the system installed and started having problems instantly so this is before i really touched anything besides taking some covers off this bus bar here is a 48 volt bus bar this is a 48 to 12 dc to dc converter so you can see this big old heavy line there comes off the 48 volt bus bar and goes to this fuse holder which is part of the 12 volt dc system of the rv and this cable here goes over to the 12 volt bus bar that the solar installer intended to be the 12 volt bus bar feeding the 12 volt part of the rv and that was part of the problem they were having he's got one 30 amp converter trying to feed the this whole big motor home which is not enough to run their big old slide outs and their leveling jacks and stuff you need multiples of those or you got to be able to move them to the chassis battery these are the dual quattros he installed again i didn't mess with any of this at all because we just didn't get into it even though there's some weird wiring stuff down there and like cables bolted together to extend them which i wouldn't do but it was all right for the time being so then over here this is when i got done it's a dark time out surprise surprise but i changed up basically everything that was on the floor so what i did is i ended up adding two more 48 to 12 dc to dc converters so this way they got 90 amps of available power which is enough to run their big old slide then and their hydraulic jacks and stuff you can see that wire that was combining the two systems together wrongly is not there anymore wrongly i don't think that's really a word but i had this links distributor i added a battery protect which is what kind of feeds those three converters and the converter outputs go through these fuse holders on the wall and then go up to that big old bus bar which is what all the 12 volt sources connect to so things are just much cleaner than what they were before i mounted the shunt on the end of the distributor i mounted the cutoff strip switch on the end of the distributor just less connection points i did keep the catastrophic fuse even though it's a small fuse holder the fuse was sized properly for the battery batteries charging properly which was also a problem before because the programming wasn't done right so that's it for this one i certainly wasn't making this video to bash that installer by any means i just I'm honestly going through the installs they're doing and just having you guys follow me around the country and this is one i did and and also you just really want to find out if you're going to have a higher voltage dc system like a 48 volt system installed you really want to find out if the person's done that or not because there can be some mistakes that can be very costly thanks everybody we'll catch you on the next one